everybody good morning good evening good night to all our international family welcome this is sandy from sandy's backyard kitchen uh, let's go around the garden to pick um, our little harvest and you know what i'm gonna turn this yard into a farm since this is one of the biggest yard we have um we'll call it a farm so i figure i'll call it a garden farm you know and i love that name i love garden and i love farm and i'm looking forward to get some chickens and and things like some chickens and a few different things around this garden and and to make it even more fun okay so let's go around i have a few things to pick i have some bilimbi um uh, golden apples peppers a few things i really need to pick and use up before we leave for our trip uh, coming up real soon okay real soon i sh definitely don't want the iguanas and the raccoons to pick everything and to get everything as you're getting on shout out what you're doing today what's cooking in the kitchen uh what your plans are for this week or for today and thank you so much for the love and the support and for being part of us leave amazing comments encouraging comments to each other my friends okay let's do this let's do this okay Oh, look, check out my pumpkin flowers. They're doing so nice. Oh, man, I, I need to pick these guys. Uh, uh, hi, my friends. Check these. These are, um, these are queen palm seeds. Here It's very popular here in South Florida. Uh, most of the seeds here from palm trees you cannot really eat. They're not good for human cons consumption. However, these you can eat, and if you're from Guyana, they are like the awara, but so sweet. The color is a little different, not as orange as the awara, but still as good. And um, also, for if you guys are Trinidadians, it's like the um, um, piwa. It's like the piwa, but you don't have to boil it or anything. You just have to eat it like that. Look at it. You see, it's ripening. Look at that guys. It's so it's so rich, it's oily, sticky, and of course stringy. But it's sweet. And you can chew over and over and over and over and over. Like one of this goes a long ways. It's like if you want chewing gum, you want to switch from chewing gum to something natural, do this. You know, do this. Mm, so yummy. So they're edible and I try not to have them on the trees because when I get to this point, the raccoons, a lot more raccoons will come in for it because they're their favorites. Mm -mm. So we are here to pick. Guys, look, I'm, I'm picking it, all of it. We're picking all of it today. Oh, you know what? I'm putting on my glasses. I'm not being rude. They're reading glasses and they're progressive. So, um, help protect my eyes right now from the sun. And Tommy, hi. Uh, why don't you read out a few comments and so on as well as they're getting on for things that you can see. Guys, look on all of it. So, um, oh man, look at that big bunch. Look at this big bunch. Ah, they're so bountiful. I'm so proud of this tree. Oh my gosh, so many on the ground. I know, I know. Look at this, Tommy. Look. Let's show this open. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go back to so me. Hi, uh, Miss Mimi is saying hello, Sandy. Everything's looking rich and sweet. And Thanks. we have Sita from saying very nice. She's loving it. Ah, guys, shout out, shout out. I love it, I love it. Man, so I'm making some achar. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite to do with these guys. I also have some peppers to pick, so I may make some a little bit of pepper sauce as well with them. So many. Mm -hmm. Can we hold it? No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, Radix is saying, wow, you have so many, you need to make some good achar, Sandy. I do. And it's saying, nice. Look, look what my bowl is getting heavy. I can't hold up. I can't, I can't hold it up. <laughs> nice. This uh, is the biggest basin I have to hear. I'll have to put this on the ground. <laughs> Oh, uh, Kami, Kamini is asking you, Sandy, what is the name of this? This is the Belimbi, also known as the Sawari or the One Finger Kamarak. Let me know in your country what you also call this. Describe what it tastes like. Oh, it's sour. Mm. It's um, it's tart, very tart, and uh, acidic as well. So you 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 kind of use it as a side dish, like achar, chutneys. Um, and I like to put it in my seafood curries as well, a few here and there. Oh, let's try it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 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 I'm telling you, it's really tart. Wow. Hey, let's uh, get some more to pick down here. So you have all, see all these little things right here? She has so many more that will be about ready to come out all the way up the whole tree. See all these flowers? The tree is waiting for me to pick all of it so it can produce more flowers so that it can produce more. But I like to see it on the tree. And but the, man, I've been picking so much from this tree, so much. Very thankful, thankful, thankful to the universe. <laughs> um, Babo says, hey, Sandy, I'm coming for some. And Radix says, that's sour. I could never eat it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. When we were little, we'll eat the baby ones with salt and pepper. Pe pepper or we'll make, we'll make like chow with the, with the little baby ones, the small, small ones, and not as um, tart. Randy has about 12 laughing faces at your because of your sour face. I know, I know. Jeez. I I, th I, th I thought of it twice. Should I use? Should I bite it and check it out? <laughs> uh, Rita said I still need to come see you, but uh, Rita, we, we rented out your room, so there's no more space for you, Rita. <laughs> you get the hammock. Is Rita from uh, Canada? Yeah. Hi, Rita. Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought a hair was flying in the back, on my back. I thought it was a snake. Alim is asking, what was that called also? We keep, keep missing the name. So, mm -hmm. Belimbi. Belimbi, Belimbi, yes. So, guys. Oh, one we'll, finger. Yes, we'll make a few things with these guys. Want me to get you another bowl? No, no. Uh, we got a few more things to pick, so let's go ahead and go. Let's go around this way. And, Tom, when you come this way, I'm going to show this little orchid. Okay. This is my cherry tree, the West Indian cherries, or the Archeola cherries, or just in Guyana, we call it cherries. Um, so they're blooming right now as well. They're flowers and there's a couple up front. Mmm, nice. Barbie says she's making a nice pot of chicken soup today. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, Parmati, uh, Partima is saying she loves them, but she can't eat them like that, but she loves to blend them up with things. Yes, yes, I'll be making some hot sauce and all that good stuff here. Oh, look, look, the cherry is ripening. I gotta get it before the iguana gets it. Look. Ah, of course, Sherry, my sister, Mon uh, Kamani, saw this. It looks like a marble. Yeah, look at that. Guys, let's pick our fourth Sherry. And I'll let, leave it like over, over on the counter for a day or two and let it ripen and then we'll eat it, okay? Yeah. Our first Sherry. Our first. Yay. First for the season. Yeah, <laughs> flowers up there, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, so what we are picking over here is this eggplant or the bygone. Balanje. Let me know again what you call this guy. Look. And this is bearing outside here on the roadside. This this tree was actually in a pot where I had a coconut. So when I transplant the coconut here, I put it, this plant came with it. And look how it's taking off. Again, a lot of flowers are on it right now. Look. You see the flowers there? Nice. It's liking the out here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we do. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hey, Stormy. I'm trying to cheat. What's up, buddy? Say hi. Good, 
Guys, I'm trying to do it. I'm not going to do it. Such nice breeze, such nice breeze. Okay, let's go up here. And this is the sweetest papaya, not kidding, not kidding, okay? The sweetest papaya I've ever tasted. And I've tasted papayas in at least 20 countries. And I've grown papayas my whole life. And this papaya tree is the sweetest I've ever tasted. And I'm not sure where I get the seed from. But let me tell you, I want to cherish it. I want to cherish it. So I got a few here that I'm picking. And and it's one, and it's been struggling. This, this papaya has been struggling so much, this papa trees been struggling and I'm so happy um, three I storms keep, blew it over yes uh, we keep loving it look look I have you see what I have they're propping it up <laughs> so we get a cherry we have some papayas <laughs> check these check those green big papayas coming up there They look like basketballs. Yeah. Uh, I, lo I have this amazing green papaya salad I can't wait to share with you all. And also, man, share some of the ideas that you do with green papayas. Growing up, the only thing I know that we used to do with green papayas is... Um, is um, Squash. Yeah, like, uh, no, curry style. Oh. And uh, then I learned the green papaya salad from my Korean friend, Kimmy. And I love that salad, so I can't wait to share. I can't wait to share with you. I can't. It's sliding yeah, up on it's, you. it's sliding down. Nice. Okay. Look at the flowers. Oh, um, I don't think anything is on that side. You got some guava flowers coming up, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Guava flowers. All three of my guava plants um, are bearing this year, are bearing this season. All three of them have flowers. One of them already have guavas coming, but they're very small. So that's one thing I need to look for carefully as well. Um, because of the iguanas. They, those guys will eat those guys as well. Uh, we have some coralie. Let's take this coralie. This one is ready. Take a picture. I, like I said, I like to keep it on the tree, but however, um, it get ripened too. I need to pick them. So I'm gonna put this in some fish curry. I have some gilbaca, and I'll put a piece of this in there. Nice. Someone's saying they curry their squash with peppers and curry. Nice. The papaya. And there's a couple more on the other side I need to pick. Very nice. I have a peppers as well to pick. I have a couple of them. Hey, tell them. Hey, tell Google to turn down. Oh, that's it. Here, guys, check this out. Check out all these peppers. I'm making some nice hot sauce with this. Just the maruri hot sauce. I have quite a few to pick. Uh, right now, all my uh, maruri peppers are blooming. It's the season. Selena saying, lovely garden. Uh, Denise says, where's your sister and nephew? 
Oh, they left her a few days back. So I still have the video to share. Tell you I have the video. I have the video to share and I need to go through it, but I'm afraid to just go through it because I'm missing them so much. So it's taking me like a few days to put it together. Um, the love of the Corrali. Love your show and all your fruits and veggies from Salima. Mary saying everything looks so amazing, Sandy. Healthy and dry. Hey, hey, Sandy. Google uh, turned himself up. Before we started live up here, um, all right. So, Rain is loving the peppers. See, uh, my friend says, More you pick, more you will get. So, I just gotta keep picking. Keith is saying, Hey, pretty Sandy and family, uh, you're looking nice with your dress. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gita. Hey, listen, you know how much videos I have with the same dress. So, what I'm thinking, I'm gonna give it a little cut and give it a little style, you know. Let me know what you think. Thanks. I have two of the sa uh, two of the same dress with two different colors. It's so, it's so light and free. They're so light and free. It's perfect <laughs> for the South Florida weather. Dion saying, I love in the garden, Sandy. Benita is saying, hey. Hi, Benita. And Celine Hi. is hello from Trinidad. Hi, Celine. Big love, big love going out to Trinidad. Thank you guys for shouting out where you're tuning in from. That's a big one right there. Oh, there's one nice yeah, one there. Yeah. Oh, yay. They're so fat. I know. All right, guys. So let's get some of this here. Check these out. These are some tomatoes. Look how beautiful. The color is so rich and red. And uh, I can just rub this all over me. I love <laughs> the smell of tomato plant. And they it's call like, me weird. I am weird, okay? It's, it's Sandy cat, Catnip. I'm unique. Uh, Sundry saying, wish you all the blessings from Trinidad. Wow, thank you, thank you. See all these nice tomato. Oh, oh smells so yummy. Ah, let's do this. I'm going to keep my cherry above. In 11 years, she'll be running off to college. Oh, I love my basket. I love my bowl, my big bowl. Got another big bunch here. Uh, Sh Shoma wants to know, did the caterpillars get the leaves? Yes, yes. Several, I, ha I had a, was a big fight for about a week straight with these caterpillars. I keep taking them and replacing them, you know. She relocates them. She put them across over the fence into the field over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but she would, she would come out in the way two or three every morning. Yeah. I don't know how they get there. And this is the last of it, actually. This is coming to the end of the tomato season. And the end of this plant, especially, actually, sorry, <laughs> the end of everything right now is getting really, really warm, really warm. And um, like I said, I have on these glasses just to help protect my eyes, my friend. Uh, Sue is saying, oh, she's sorry she didn't get to see goodbye to your sister when she left. Oh, no, no. Oh, it wasn't alive. No, but I do have the video. We do have the video. So I'm, I'm gonna try to pick this and later I'm gonna just go by and start trim all the ends again off, you know? Trim um, all these dead ends and see if and see if we're gonna start to bear more. But you see how it's drying up? It's just too hot nowadays. It's too hot. They say the Gita's saying, Yes, you will look nice in a cut cut to your knees, make yourself a little more prettier, and you're always looking lovely. And hi, Mr. Tommy. Oh hello. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> so the thumbs up to cut, crop of the dress. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, because I have it for so much already. Right. Okay. Here, guys. So, look, I have a couple on this end here as well. You saw the sun is just flying everything. This out. is a hot corner. Mm -hmm. But it's the end of the season as well. You know, like I take out this part. And when it's cooler, I go around and uh, do these as I go. Nice. <laughs> I love my basket. I love it. Look at that. So much. Oh, 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 you see how nice it is back here, Tommy? Yep. 
she moved a lot of her plants over here. You see, they're still in shade, which I'm so happy for. Uh, so you see, like all these peppers, I know. Look at all these guys. You have to pick all these guys here. And uh, so, more, more, hopefully, it will bear another round, you know. I've been picking like every day from these guys. But, um, yes, the more you pick, the more you reap. Yeah. But right now, I'm picking all of them out so that I can. Uh, oh, no, another branch broke. Oh, uh, it broke? Looks like it. Or maybe no, it's just hanging low. It's just hanging low. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So many. Call out for me. Who's on? Who's on there? Um, Marlee says, Hey, Sandy, I love your garden so much. Oh, I am in Boca, uh, living, leaving uh, very soon. I wish I could meet with you guys. I'm here in work. Oh, in Boca? Yeah. And where do you live normally? Um, we're going to be leaving for a week for the cruise, but we'll be back on the 28th. 28th, yes. And then we're going to Orlando right away as well. Oh, yeah. Sandy's um, going to be cooking at Legends in Orlando on the outside patio with Mr. Roop, one of the owners. It's so much fun. Oh, my God. But you see, look at all these peppers, man. I'm loving it. Uh, I like my um, organic peppers. Lauren, I, Lauren says, what's up? Hi, Lauren. <laughs> what's, what's up? up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I need to do as well is take my little scissors. Oh, where's the scissors? I buried it. I must have buried the scissors. Ah. Oh, on the rail. Okay. What I'm going to do as well later... Oh, look at these shallow guys. These are all shallow as well. I'm going to get stuff for green seasoning. And I have these scallions and shallows everywhere. And, and these are just the, the, just heads that I get from the market when I buy scallions or shallows. Or where I always put it into grow. So I'm always, always, so, never. So tell you just kind of poke them all around. Yeah, I just poke them all around. It's I kind of neat to see them pop up. I so. literally have these guys everywhere, everywhere. And I show my pak choy, my pak choy is, uh, check out my pak choy here. I put them here. That's one thing is the delicacy for the critters around here as well, and the poi. Looking nice. Uh, Marley lives in New York and Queens, Sandy. She's here in Boca. Oh, okay. So if we don't see her, we'll be in Queens uh, for the summertime. Right, yes, yes. And you hear the parrots, guys? You hear the parrots going after um, around there? That, I don't know if you heard the song. The Quaker. Quaker parrots. For my uh, West Indian friends, they, we have them there as well in the rainforest, especially in Guyana. And what I like to do too, I um, pick my celery. And uh, so I like to go around and just clip all the outer layer celeries. Gosh, and to make my green seasoning and also the shadow benny and i also have um over here check it out i have basil and all my man pork is that mint i also have mint they're saying they love your green thumb but tell them how you get a green thumb hey son. listen listen you know what is a green thumb they don't tell you this they tell you oh you have a green thumb well it's having a garden having trees having a farm Having animals is just like having kids, okay? Just like having kids. And actually, it's more than having kids. You have to take care of your garden, especially living in the heat or um, certain type of weather. You gotta even take care of them more, like daily. And that's where you get a green thumb, is because you're always in the ground with your fingers, thorning soil, taking out weeds. It's not an easy task. But for us, I love it. It's like meditation for me. I feel like nature. I'm a plant. So I love to be in the garden. Okay, I love to be in the garden. So she has a green thumb because her hand's in the dirt so much. You can grow your thumb as the whole. That's the story behind <laughs> a green thumb. It's in the dirt so much it could grow. Oh, Marley says uh, she has a picture of you and her from Curry Road Tea Box when you were there. Oh, She awesome. got a flower. Definitely. Uh, we'll be back there again. That's uh what of our stops? Yeah, most Sandy likely stops. in June. M most likely in June, my friends. Hello from London, Sandy. You're great. She loves watching you. This is Sandia. Hi, Sandia from London. Big love going out to London. One place we haven't visited yet, but it's definitely on our list. Definitely on our list. Man, so I'm getting all my green seasoning and all that good stuff right now, too. Um, just everything. I have my Mart Mart Pope, my Bradleaf Thyme, Shadow Benny, 
celery, chives, just everything in here. Peppers for also green seasoning. Mint. Tara oh, saying you're looking that. looking on from um, Trinidad. Hmm? Tara saying hello from Trinidad. Hi Tara, hello, hello. Also, also my thyme. And this thyme plant here needs a little bit of log. It needs a little bit of iron. That's why it's getting yellow. It it's just needs a little bit of iron. So I need to go to home, I need to go to the store and look a little bit of plant vitamins. I see all this here. These are all celery. All this here is all celery. And I don't know, guys. For one, this is the first time ever since I moved to this property, and I started to grow celery. I still have the original celery. They keep blooming. They keep growing. I just got to take out the layer, layer off of it, and it keep getting bigger and bigger and keep producing. So I'm never, never out of the celery. And this is the Chinese celery, like the West Indian celery um, that I grow here. And this here as well, I have this pepper plant for quite a few years as well. And this is the India chili peppers. It's like the board peppers, but um, a little bit longer. And tastes a little bit different, but it's the India chili. It's so good when it's green and it's even, and you know, I like it better when it's green actually. And I also like it when it's ripened. Nice. Uh, Doss Nikki is saying hello, Sandy from New York, uh, Brooklyn. Hi, big love, big love. <laughs> and Badiri is saying hello, beautiful Sandy. Oh, thank you, thank you. What's, what's on, what are you guys cooking, man? Tell me, tell me. Um, Onika me, me, is me. looking from Linden, Guyana, Sam. Oh, big love going out to Linden. Oh, man, Linden is not the same Linden I went to many, many years ago. It's so different. I can't wait to come and visit. I can't wait. Definitely the next time I come to Guyana, I am coming to Linden. Hello, Linden. Sandra says, Sandy, you must come to London. Bring Sandy's back their kitchen there. Oh, gosh. Can't wait, can't wait. Uh, Tommy, we need to look up everywhere. I know. I know, I know. I got to sell lots. Of, we have to sell lots of properties. Yes, we have to sell. <laughs> yes, yes. Um... Okay. Uh, Marley says I will try, but I'm doing um, a living job, and it's hard to it's hard to get out for a vacation. Oh. And it's certainly Cindy says awesome. John, Tommy, did you show them um, what's coming up on this side? Gita says you're a loving lady. That's what you're trying to find. That's you got all these goody things in your garden, especially the greens. They love you because you talk to them, and you like they like your own kids. It will keep giving you more <laughs> your garden oh yes exactly i talk to my plants i give them prayers i go in meditation for them if one is not doing well and i truly care for them you know when john is mad with me you know what he do to spite me you like hit a plant sometimes break the leaf or so sometimes like with his anger <laughs> and i will go back to him and say john you better go apologize to that plant okay don't mess with nature don't mess with it come back to you you better go apologize to that plant and he will go and apologize uh check these guys out you remember the last time john was picking them and these are black peppers fine black peppers and look um man they're growing big the fast the peppercorn yeah they're peppercorn the black peppers mm -hmm. and black choy mm -hmm. all right my friends <laughs> Uh, thank you for sharing. Hey, Tommy. Hey, say hello. Tommy didn't want to be in the video. Hi, <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. Hey, yeah. Guys. So thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing and being part of us. And thank you for being part of all our platforms. Thank you, Tommy, for taking time off to make a quick little video. Hey, that's it. I get to get off my work shirt and get my tank top. And get some cool breeze right now. Yes, and he's so nice. Hello to London. It's evening there. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to come. Awesome, awesome. Love you guys. Have a great lunchtime.